and good morning there. Uh, Johnny here from Crony Health. Uh, just finished uh, some yoga. I was stretching for a while. And I want to talk today about my diet, which is the raw plant based, mostly fruits, zero animal products. I've been on this diet. I've been plant based for six years since I'm 48 years old. And I've been raw now for 13 months. But mostly what I eat is just fruits and I'm not here to promote the diet. I'm not here to convince anybody, but I, I'm preaching about it because of the wonders of it, right? And there's there's a lot of people, look, it's almost impossible. It's like talking politics with uh, carnival or animal products and uh, I don't like the name vegan or vegetarian. I'm a human being and we need to understand that as humans, right, we being lie, right? I'm not here to uh, to say that a carnivore diet is bad. In most cases are actually good, but that's not the ultimate diet, guys. We need to understand that. And the way I can explain that is for me, it was just a simple challenge. Well, back when I was 40 years old, somebody challenged me to do a 30-day um, no animal product diet. And I couldn't. It took me 14 months to achieve 30 days. 14. It took me 14 months to try to do 30 days with no animal products. The weakness, the deficiency, all that stuff is actually true. It's very real. But we need to understand that when you switch, right, from a carnivore diet or animal product diet, to a raw plant-based diet or to a plant-based first, right? You are gonna go through a process of detox. You are, your microbiome right now is addicted to what you eat. And, <clears throat> and I'm here to design this tree, going around, strolling around, just in case, in case you wonder, it's Sunday today. <clears throat> and <clears throat> what's happening is your microbiome gets addicted to what you feed it with. Right? And it doesn't want to change. So the process of going to a plant-based diet, which is the ultimate diet, it's not the ultimate diet, the ultimate diet is fruits, just food. And I'm gonna to try to explain this in this video. See, but I'm not trying to convince anybody, I'm just gonna preach, I'm gonna tell you the reasoning, the science, uh, you need to understand science is just question, question. All the people that I eat, all the people out there, they consume, right? Animal DNA to the cellular level. Let's see if you can understand that. If you are consuming DNA of animals to the cellular level, you are what you eat. So as humans, we need to eat what's farther away from us. It's a, it's a plant-based, but mostly it's fruits. And the way I like to explain this, it's just very simple right we are la creme of la creme of evolution about any other animal the only thing the separators from the animals right or they will rule us is tools we, we, we are creating tools it's just a tiger or a monkey or they're stronger than us a gorilla we are not strong they are strong right but because we have tools, we rule over because we have a brain. We were able to figure it out, a way to conquer. So that's why we're La Creme of La Creme, of evolution. Now, let's just understand this, right? Animals in the wild, any animal in the wild, it only takes one sniff, one single sniff, for them to figure it out what to eat, what not to eat. A dog, a cat that is not fully domesticated. You give them something to eat, they know. They look at you like the cat. Look at you like, okay, uh, humans, this is what you're gonna eat. That's how it is. However, we have lost that sense that we should be able to sniff something and understand whether we eat it or we don't eat it. Now, if that's the case, right? 
because people say, well, we, we should eat uh, meat and this and that. Look, the reason why a lot of people eat meat, right, is because if you are on a, on a vegetable diet, on a vegetarian diet, and it's, you're buying commercial fruit and vegetables, right, the soil, right, is being depleted from micronutrients. It's commercial. The pump up. To try to, to, to get the crops out of the ground as fast as possible, right? And they, the soil is depleted from micronutrients. So the fruit and the vegetables that you consume or you, you buy in the supermarket, right? They're depleted from all their nutrients. And we already know that an orange from 100 years ago, right? It's not the same as an orange from today. You're gonna need eight to 10 oranges from today that you buy in the supermarket consume the same amount of nutrients that you get that you used to get in an orange from 100 years ago unless you grow your own fruit even if it's organic guys organic means nothing nowadays it's just a label they twitch it it's just commercial they're trying to make money we are forgetting that capitalism making money trade right the the basis of all that trade is always being as, as simple as human well-being. And we're forgetting. Whether you sell a car, whether you sell a house, whether you sell whatever it is that you trade, right? We have forgotten that the basis of commerce is the well-being of the human. We've forgotten that. And for that, we're just trying to make money. And that's never been the objective. That right now, that's the only goal is just to make money. Well, you need a bigger house. Well, you need a bigger car. What do you need this? What do you, you, we've forgotten that the only reason why we do trade. Back in the day, you used to trade tomatoes for potatoes because you needed tomatoes and the other one needed potatoes. And you traded because you needed that. And we have transformed this into making money without thinking about that the only reason we used to do that is just to live well. Now, let's go back to the diet, right? The closest animal, and we already know that animals in the wild, will sniff, one single sniff, and they know what to eat, right? Now, if that's the case, right? Which one's the closest animal can teach us what to eat? Because people say, well, I want to eat like a tiger, First of all, if you want to you want to be like a tiger, you want to be like an eagle, or you want to be like a whale, whatever animal that you choose from, that's a, a, bi a biological, right, downgrade. That's an evolutionary downgrade. You don't want to be like any animal. In fact, all animals, every single animal out there, they wish they could have the capabilities and the potential of a human being. So stop saying that you want to be like an animal. No, 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 no. Every single animal out there, including the gorilla, they want to be, they would love to be a human. Now, knowing that there are animals in the wild, know how, what to eat, right? Just think about this, because people say, well, you need, you need vitamins, you need this and that, you need protein. The closest animal, the closest animal to the human is the gorilla and the chimpanzee. Yeah, those two monkeys, those two huge monkeys are the closest that we can find to the human being. A gorilla has, has a diet where they don't eat any single animal product. Zero. Zero. So is the chimpanzee. So don't, don't tell me that we, we need meat or we're not going to be deficient of this or that. A 400 pound gorilla eats only fruits, right? A chimpanzee, and sometimes the chimpanzees are, are half of a, the size of a human being and half of the weight of a human being. One slap and will kill you. And those on the orangutan is also included into, into this. So those are the closest animals to the human being. And the difference, the DNA between a human, a gorilla, a chimpanzee is about 1.5%. One, one point, 1 to 1.5% 1 difference between the DNA in a human and a gorilla or a chimpanzee. 
They know what to eat. They eat fruit. But, but I need protein. Where do I get my protein? Where? Listen, we need to understand this, right? And I don't, and I, I'm, I'm proving that I know I started to see people going into this diet, right? And remember, I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm explaining you the way I, I understand this scientifically, and I practice what I preach. I eat mostly fruits. Today, my diet is gonna be watermelon, pineapple, avocados, and the avocados are gonna have some spices, and there's gonna be cilantro included, right? Lots of water, watermelon, pineapple, lots of water, filter, ionize. And so where do you get your protein from? We don't need protein, guys. What? What are you talking about? Now you're talking nonsense. Guys, what we need is amino acids. The building blocks of proteins. The human body is a pharmacy. It's a chemical factory. And all you need is raw material. You give this body the raw material that it needs and it produces absolutely everything. Every single vitamin, every single mineral. You just give them anything, that, raw material. And everything that we need to eat like gorillas, like a 400 pound gorilla. Bananas, apples, right? We need amino acids, we don't need proteins, guys. The enzymes, the minerals, the vitamins, they are all in the vegetables and the fruits. We can synthetize, synthetize everything from, from that diet. Now, that diet, right, is easy on the digestive system. Very easy. If you eat meat, you're gonna end up sick. And the problem with meat, right, the main problem, the single main problem with meat is it takes a toll on the digestive system. It creates a wanted bacteria right unwanted waste it takes way too long to digest right and i'm telling you because this that's it's been my experience i'm a peruvian argentinian guy I have eaten animal products all my life and i give them all away my skin has changed my hair has regrow i have i'm 53 years old i have no gray hair i'm in the base the best shape and health of my entire life right and I don't look great. It's just that most people my age look like crap. Most 53 years old look like shit. So they think I look great. I do But I'm improving. I say go further and deeper into this diet. My diet is I juice as much as possible. I consume fruits and vegetables. There are zero animal products. Right? And another thing that it helps me with this diet is my sleeping quarter. The body does not require sleep. Does not. What you what the body requires is to be fully rested. And the best way to rest is sleeping. So you sleep as many hours as you have to, to be fully rested. So that nonsense that you gotta sleep eight hours is BS. You, you gotta sleep as many hours as you need to be fully rested. I sleep six hours, six hours and 15 minutes now. And I went from eight, from nine to eight to seven to six and a half. And now at four o'clock in the morning, 4.15, 4.14, right around that, there's something going on around four o'clock in the morning. Something magical happens at four o'clock in the morning. And you gotta be in tune with the cycles of the moon, right? Especially now it's full moon. And you don't have to tell me that it's full moon because I can feel it. My senses, my five senses are, I can hear, I can smell. It's just, you, you think you become superhuman, but in reality is you realizing that being human is super. If you consume it, animal DNA, you are gonna be acting like, a, like an animal, there you have it. So we need to understand that. Once again, I know promoting desire is almost impossible. For people who don't like to do hard things, this is so hard, so hard. Society, every time you go out, the smell, the eggs, I love eggs. I, guys, anything that you cook, you kill. And if you eat any kind of meat, right? Any kind of meat, you cook it, there's no water in it. 
The more you cook it, the less water is gonna be in it. The human body is three-fourths water or three-fourths electrolytes, fluid. If I squeeze myself like an orange, it's all water. And we're trying to, and, and, and you don't eat, you don't, you don't kill to eat. You don't go hunting, you buy frozen stuff. So we're trying to leave, right? And we're eating that shit. So th there's so many things. It's just, the challenge is this, detoxifying the body, right? Or killing the old microbiome. And rebuild a new microbiome that is able to absorb all the nutrients that you need from fruits and vegetables. Nuts, seeds, sprouts. Oh my God, you're gonna, you're gonna feel much better. Your brain, so clean. The way you think, you wanna make more money, it's gonna help you, right? You clutter with, with, DNA, with animal DNA. Just think about that for a second. Whatever you eat becomes you, right? On the other side, with the problem with testosterone, people talking about the decline in testosterone. And this is for males, but also for females. But mostly for males who want to get big, which you're not supposed to get, you, I don't want to get big, I want to get smaller. I want to get tight, tight, stronger. Muscle, muscle size has nothing to do with strength, right? You can, you can ask any Shaolin uh, Kung Fu master, uh, Bruce Lee, vegetarian, they don't eat any meat. They're tight, right? They're slim, ripped, I'm ripped. I wanna be like that. And, and the strength comes from being tight. I don't want my organs to be bigger. I want my organs to get as tight as possible. I want zero inflammation. And going to the animals, right? Nobody eats the, the bull's balls. You eat a cow. Why are you eating the cow? Why are you not eating the bull? Because the cow is the ones that get fattened. And you know how the cow gets fattened and bigger? By the pound, commerce, making money? Estrogen. Animals are getting pumped up with estrogen. Because there's more money in it. What's a chicken, bro? Guys, explain to me what is a chicken. You have rooster and a hen. What's a chicken? And if the chicken lays eggs, it's female. Estrogen antibiotics the number one right now the number one cause of death in the united states is heart related issues it's obesity guys we're consuming all this pumped up animals nobody's hunting now if you go hunting and i am not a listen like i'm saying i am not promoting design i'm preaching about it i am omnivore what but you don't eat any meat no because I don't have to, but if I will have to eat meat, I will actually, I will absolutely eat your dog. I will eat your cat, I will eat any animal. I, I will make no difference, horse, anything. Because for me, it's not about values, morals, whatever, religion, what works. What works, what doesn't work, right? We're consuming all these animals, with antibiotic, with estrogen, frozen, you're trying to leave what you're trying to leave and we're consuming dead food on the other side if you eat fruits if the, the fruits and the vegetables that are dead you simply don't eat them the orange is alive the apple is alive the grapes are alive the mango is alive cilantro is alive the avocado is alive your animal that you didn't hunt Right, that you bought, you bought frozen in the supermarket is dead. But the clarity that comes out of these guys, I need, I need people to understand this. And this is from somebody who used to eat a lot of animal products on every single meal, chorizo, steak, everything. Once you give it all up, you will see the change, the way, the clutter in, you, in your head, it just disappears. Right? Your skin changes, your shape changes, you can work out harder, you, can, you, you don't need to sleep that much, you need to sleep a lot less, because you're not constantly digesting, right? There's no cooking, there's no cleaning, there's not, there's, there's not much shopping. 
So that's it. it's my experience. And basically, for science, if you I get one example that somebody has done it before, then you have it. It's possible. Now you need to be open-minded for this. You need to be fully open-minded for this. Most people are not. They close their minds. You know, I have to eat meat. Well, that's your problem. I'm not here to convince you. Like I said, diet in this case is like talking about politics. It's almost impossible to convince anybody. But if there's anybody who already figured this out and want to go this route, then you can follow me. You, then you can understand what I'm talking about. But on the, until that, I'm not here to convince anybody. You convince yourself. I didn't convince myself at all. I gave it a try. It was almost impossible for me to do it. It was just simply impossible. It took me 14 months to achieve 30 days without any animal products. No eggs, no cheese, no milk. It was almost, it, I, will, I will fail, I will fall back, fall back, right? But once I was on the other side, a good 30 days without any animal product, and extended out to 45, just my mind just opened up in a different way. And ever since, right, there's no animal product in my diet, zero, zero. Don't need it, I'm not, I'm 52 years old, I'm not aging, my hair grew back, I don't have, um, I have few gray hair, but I don't have that many, it's not, they're not even visible. My skin is still completely different. I, I do have my, my wrinkles, but the, the, my, my, the skin changes. Animal products are gonna age you way faster. Animal products are gonna age you way faster than fruit and vegetables. So there you have it, guys. Right, that's my take on this. I'm going this route. You don't need all the, oh, but you don't need to be straight. You don't need all, all that nonsense. Now, I do understand this because the, the soil is being depleted from micronutrients just to pump up, just to, to make more apples, faster apples, right? Uh, they're not organic. If you cannot get, right, that kind of nutrition, absolutely you need meat. There's more nutrients in the meat right then depleted uh, fruit and vegetables that is for sure but a carnivore diet is not the ultimate diet if you can source you can grow your own right that's why i consume a meal replacement right everything is pre-digested the digestion starts in the mouth with saliva and chewing so this is my experience it's working for me I'm not aging, I'm reversing, guys, this is just insane for me, right? I, I'm, in that, that was what I wanted to do. I, I noticed I was losing my hair. I noticed, I noticed when I was 48, I started uh, getting all this gray hair and I saw all my hair is just falling off. Look at my hair right now, amazing. And all of this was just changed my diet. I'm working out, I was hard. Look, I lost permanently 20 pounds and I'm stronger. How is that even possible? Bruce Lee didn't eat any, any meat. He was vegetarian. Any Shaolin monk, every Kung Fu master, they're all vegetarians. They're tight. Muscle size has nothing to do with strength. Well, it's got some, but not a lot. And that's key here. The key is now physical appearance, but health. And since I've changed my diet, and... I give it no animal products to my body. I just feel great, look great, and it's the physical appearance is because of my health. And that's about it. And that's all I have for now, guys. And I'll see you next time.